Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can underline a text inside a text view and inside a button. So by the end of this tutorial, we're going to have an app that looks like this. You can see I have a text view and I have a button. So when I click on the button, we will have an underline below the text inside the text view as well as the text inside the button. So if I click on the same button again, and the underline will disappear. If I click on the button again, and you will see the underline appears under these two views. All right, let's get started. Open up Android Studio. And the first thing that we need to do is open up the resource layout and add these two views inside the activity underscore main.xml file. What are these two views? Those are the button, the text view, and the button. So we'll start off with the text view first, and then we will add the button. So we have this text view here. The second thing that we need to do is increase the text size to 30 SP. And then we need to change the label inside the text view to the one that we see inside the emulator which is underline the text inside a text view and a button. So we'll do that now. Underline the text inside a text view and a button. Okay, we got the text ready. The next thing we need to do is we need to edit the button. What we want is we need to change the label to add under line okay so that is exactly like what we have in the emulator great now close this layout file because we're done editing now we need to go to the java file and start referencing these views so close layout close the resource folder and open up the java open up the main package and double click on the main activity here and then we need to reference these two views so text view, we have text view and we have a button and we call this text text as for the button we will call this button okay now let's reference these find view by ID and we refer to the text view ID we do the same thing for the button and that is find view by ID order ID dot button Okay, so the second thing that we do here is first we've had, we have already referenced the views to their correct IDs. The second thing is we need to uh, set an on click listener for the button so that when you tap on the button, the you will see the underline appear under the text view and the text inside the text view and the text inside the button. Let's do this now. We do button dot set on click listener. New on click listener, the same old usual stuff that we always do. Okay, let's add this, implement a method, and that is the on click. Click OK. And here we have the on click method. All right, what we want here is we need to underline the text. And to underline the text, we will use uh, something called, or function you can see, or methods called the paint android paint and what it does is it gives us certain flags that we can use to uh, to underline the text one of the flag is used to underline the text let me show you right now and we'll do it text first we need to uh, underline the text inside the text field so we'll start with the text first text dot set paint flags you can see here oh, sorry uh, let's set paint set paint flags yep that's the one now what we want is we need to first get the the current flags that this text view has now we do text dot get paint flags okay and then what we want is we need to set once we get the the current flag for this text view, we need to 
set the new flag which is the end of line and to be able to access these type of flags we will do paint that's the one select that and dot you can see underline text flag and you choose that one okay so what we're doing here we're saying text we set the paint flags for this text by first getting the current paint flags and then we apply the new flag which is the underline text we will do the same thing for the button and what we're going to do is let's just copy this line paste it right here and change the view inside of button to view and do the same thing here as well so here we have the the underlying text for the text view and for the button and let's give this a run and see how it looks like in the emulator click on the run button I have my emulator running choose the one that you have and click OK okay so the app is running and you can see we have the text view and we have the button we click on the button add underline and you can see the underline appears in, under these two views now if we click on the button again and you can see the underline is not actually removed so let's fix that now go back to the code and what we want to do is we need to do a small check we need to check first we need to check what is the uh, the current flag that is being applied to these views and then act upon it so if let's say the current flag is the underlying flag then let, we need to remove that flag if it's otherwise we need to apply that flag and to do that we're going to use if so we do if text dot get paint dot is underline that's the one so first we need to do for the text as well as for the button so to do that we will use the ampersand and button dot get paint dot get sorry dot get paint dot is underline so we put the parentheses and we take these two lines cut and paste them inside the if condition so here don't forget to add the explanation mark why because inside the if condition we are setting the, the the underlying flag to these two views so we're saying here is what we're, what we're doing here is we're checking if the text doesn't have the underlying flag if the text and the button doesn't have these underlying flags then please apply these flags that's what this condition does if these views which means the text and the button does have the underlying flags and we need to remove them and that's where we have the else condition so inside the else condition is we'll copy these two lines here and we'll do some minor changes to them so we'll start first with the text text dot set paint flags we are still getting the current paint flags and what we want to do here is we need to change this to and and then we need to use a unary operator that's the one so a unary operator is basically an operator that gives you the opposite value of what you have so if we we will need to remove the 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 current flag we will use the this operator here which is called unary operator and it will remove it will give you the opposite result so if it ha if we don't have the paint flag apply the paint flag like this if we do have the paint flag and, the, and we need to remove that so we will use the unary operator and we will do the same thing for these for the for the button as well so what we're gonna do here is just copy this part and paste it right here and don't forget to add the the other bracket here okay so in the else condition if these if the text view and the button does have the paint flags which is underlined text flag 
so remove them by adding this and and using the unary operator so let's give this one and see how it looks like in the emulator so we have the app running and let's click on the button add underline and you can see the underline being appeared is appeared on is appearing on the text view and the button click on the button again and the underline is removed click on it again you can see the underline is there you click again it is removed all right that's basically it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials if you need any help with the code do email me and i'll do my best to help you out thanks again for watching and happy coding.